I dare you to defy me and say it didn't look good. Hi, welcome back. And okay, it is Friday. Yeah, it's Friday today. I thought I should do, in fact, I had to do this video, full fashion hacks. A lot of these things actually apply year round, but I'm going to make them more applicable to this time of the year. But these are the things that I personally have learned over the years. These are things that I've seen other people have done and I have started to do it. It's just stylist tricks and not even stylist, just cool ways to wear your shit. sorry but it just is and i love this time of the year a lot of people who are into fashion and stuff this is one of our favorite times of the year because it is the opportunity to just play with your outfits play with different layers pile more on therefore trying different textures different colors so there's a lot of hacks in here i picked my top favorite ones and yeah if you're into stuff like that subscribe to this channel because i try and do as many kind of like style hacks and tricks and style ideas for you but i've got a lot of full videos coming your way as well anyway so speaking of tuesdays if you've not seen tuesday's video i will link it below it is about how to build a full capsule wardrobe and it's based on your style because i've said this before and i'll say it again but too many of those full capsule wardrobes or just how to build a capsule wardrobe in general they they make you feel general because they just apply it to everyone like cut paste to every single woman and man on earth that's not how it is there are things to look out for so if you want to know about how to build your full capsule wardrobe so you're not spending on the wrong things but you're buying exactly what you need check out the video below i'll leave in the cards up here as well and it will open in a new window so that you don't lose watching this window right kicking off with the first one <gasps> mixing textures this is one of my favorite ones of all mixing textures i love to do that i'm talking let me see because i wrote them all down you can do as it's getting cooler you can do denim jeans which is a really obvious one with cotton so it can be a cotton shirt like an oversized shirt fitted shirt wherever you want if you're going up a step from wearing just a t-shirt during a summer you're going into fall wear something long sleeve that's why i mentioned the uh, shirt another thing is leather i love mixing leather in the fall it is one of the beautiful best ways and it can be faux to add texture and warmth at the same time and it just adds that kind of edge to any fall wardrobe i'm telling you black leather faux leather add that in it will be with you forever i have here this leather pants that i picked up um, from a vintage shop i don't know who this is some of you asked me the brand i'm just going to show you on the screen because i don't know who this is by or where i i just this is the label so if you want to look for it on ebay or something let me know Ooh, it's right there screenshot but i picked these up and i'm telling you these are my lifesaver these with a knit this is a knit top bam this with any kind of knit okay so these the same leather pants with this cable knit jumper that i got last year from mango it's actually a cropped cropped jumper and i love it because that means that when you tuck it there's not too much bulk at the bottom but anyway this with look at this look <laughs> it's the not the color it's a texture combination it's not the color it's a texture combo for me it's wearing this kind of cable knit with these leather pants that look at the textures together two black pieces but look how cool and different they look mixing textures during this time of the year is one of my favorite and i know i'm repeating myself things to do vinyl with denim as well i'll show on the screen i have this I believe it's Ganny. It's this burgundy color vinyl jacket. Um, I wore it with denim and I wore it with patent leather boots. My Chelsea's the Prada boots. Those look so good together. Again, texture on texture on texture. You've got the denim, you've got the patent leather Prada boots, and then you've got the Ganny uh, vinyl shine of the jacket. This is chef's kiss at this time of the year during the fall. Trust me, mix your textures. Oh, another good one for mixing textures is faux fur with anything. So you could do faux fur with silk, silk's really good, or with satin. Also satin and silk slip skirts, slip dresses. Again, look, same thing. You know I'm gonna say this, but it is absolutely the same. 
wearing this kind of slinky satin or silk. It doesn't have to be this color, but it's the texture. I'm not talking about the color, I'm talking about the texture. It's the fact that you're wearing something nice and cozy like this and then you're teaming it with a something that's thinner and slinky. I love the look even with slip dresses layered on top of a t-shirt. It could be black or white, just a basic plain t-shirt or it could, it could even be a t-shirt that has graphics on it if you like that kind of vibe because I think that gives a real kind of edgy vibe to that kind of outfit with a slip dress on top. It's a nice way to winterize your summer pieces so do not forget to mix your textures same color head to toe but in different textures this kind of plays off the same theme because i'm going to start to move into my next hack which is about colors i love tonal colors so i love the look of pairing similar color families together whether it is a light blue and a dark blue uh, certain shades of green together look at the color wheel but I'm going to put one on the screen for you and look at the colors that are beside each other. When you pair those two colors together, like orange and pinks that look good together, or pinks and reds, or orange and reds, um, I even love the look of like dark blues and greens together. You know how I talk about jewel tones all the time. That's because it's my personal favorite. Jewel tones look amazing when you pair them together. I don't care if you pick emerald green with sapphire blue, put those two together. Oh, it's stunning any kind of color combinations around the same sort of color spectrum always look beautiful together monochromatic looks in terms of color that's a fall style hack that i think lasts all the time it looks forever chic whenever you see creams different shades of creams different shades of caramel toffee colored hues all worn together pair together right through from the coat the jacket to the knit to the jean to the pant to the boot the hat even the bag as well on your hand when you start to put these things together and marry them they look so chic and effortless it is one of the most quintessential chic style hacks i've ever seen I mean, it's something that you often buy in a pair and it's something that you'll keep forever. Whether it be um, your favorite color, pick a color that you love that suits your skin tone and you just like it regardless, regardless of anything in fashion. It's just your style, it's your vibe. For me, camel is one of my favorite colors. So for me, because I love camel coats so much, if you wonder why the camel is appearing on the screen every time I say the word camel, OG subscribers, please let people know about the video I did where I was hunting for a camel coat. Anyway, enough said. Because I love that color, I could see me investing in a really gorgeous, similar colored knit. Somehow it's a, it could be a, it could even just be like a polar neck top that's in the same color. That worn with that camel coat is gonna look so good, but it could also be a knit dress. But I just love the idea of just wearing same monochromatic look. A lot of us do it in black, we just wear black head to toe. It's a color that I know that a lot of people just love to wear regardless of whether it's fall or not. But when you do it in a way that's intentional, going back to my other point, which is to mix it in textures, it really does take it up another notch. So the whole color, with the same colors, or whether it's families are same together, same color family, you decide, pick your poison which you prefer. Silhouettes, this is a classic one. This hack will apply year round as well, but during the full time, it's specifically good because we tend to go for more volume, whether it's our knits, maybe it's a larger coat, like a puffer, later on when it gets cooler. I like the idea of always doing that yin and yang with the contrast. I've mentioned this before in other videos, but it's so true. I love the idea of wearing anything that's like voluminous at the top. I will pair it with something slimmer at the bottom. I do this all the time. There is a shearling vintage jacket slash coat that I have. Whenever I wear it, I always team it with leggings and my tall boots. These ones, I actually will show you on the screen as well because I love these boots so much. I got these from last fall and I'll definitely be wearing these into the fall and into winter as well. I love these. I will link these below. Like I said, they come in different colors. These are Gio Couture, I believe. You can also get a lot of knockoff versions of these. So I'll definitely link all the ones I've seen below. But I love these for doing that same look where I'll wear something like a legging and then I'll wear something voluminous on top, whether it's a puffer that's oversized or any kind of oversized jacket. Chef's kiss. Same thing with the reverse. You can flip it. If you're wearing like a, a wide leg pant or a voluminous skirt, team it with something that's maybe a shorter cropped jacket because it shows off 
the volume that you've got underneath. You don't want to like overwhelm and cover it with a voluminous jacket or a voluminous coat and you've got a voluminous like skirt or pant. You want to have to be able to see your silhouette and I think when you do these you're able to see your shape and your figure much better and it also flatters each piece and they flatter each other. This will flatter that if it's a boxy top and then you're wearing like a voluminous bottom and if the it's the reverse. Love playing with silhouettes. Now I get inspiration everywhere when I'm looking to think about how I want to think about how I'm dressing and think of ways that's inspiring me to just think out of the box and one of the ways is just sharpening up my own skills and I do that through Skillshare. I have mentioned Skillshare I think for about at least a good year now. Now they are an online learning community with thousands, and I mean thousands of creative courses for creative and curious people. It's a place where you can develop new skills, you can develop existing interests or just get lost in creativity. And for me, I found a course that really has helped to sharpen and just reinforce my thinking on the way that I dress, especially during the season. And that is to play with shapes and silhouettes and colors and proportion. And I looked at this course from Skillshare called The First Steps of Creative Design from Concept to Illustration. And it is by Nolan Bellavance and Anna Homer. Now they walk you through the whole steps of why they sketch the way they do and just creating down on paper the silhouettes, how quickly they do them, mixing colors and why they do them the way they do. And when I was watching that, it made me think of, I never went to St. Martin's School of Art in London. It was something I actually was thought about and I didn't. But when I see courses like this, it helps to give me the basics of how it is to, to put together the building blocks of your looks and your outfits. And watching this course, actually has helped me to reinforce the way that I dress. They talk about texture and color and clothes on the body. These are all the foundations of understanding good style hacks. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you, whether you're a dabbler or a pro, hobbyist or a master, just being creative. And when you join, you can try one of Skillshare's live classes, experience real-time inspiration as you connect with popular teachers while watching and working along with other members. So Skillshare offers basically membership with meaning. You're connecting with the support of fellow creatives and enter a community of encouragement and communication and real inspiration. So the first thousand subscribers to click the link in my description below will get one month free trial of Skillshare and you can start your creativity as well and start learning and building further on what you what you think you already know or just learn something completely different belts never underestimate during the fall the power of a good belt i'm talking about whether it's a statement belt or it is a skinny belt you know how much i love my loewe belt where are you i'm gonna get it but i'll put it on the screen so you can see this is the belt that i'm talking about I pulled the trigger finally after years, and it was years, of looking at this bloody belt because I loved it that much. And eventually I was like, sod it, I need this in my life. And it was the best move I did because this is staying with me forever in my wardrobe. Would I wear it with this? No, but I don't give a crap because it's my channel and I'm gonna put it on right now because I feel like it. But this over a blazer, let me show you here looks so freaking good i'm i cannot tell you how good it looked this over a long knit dress this over a slinky kind of dress that's kind of loose it looks so listen this is a wonder belt and it's by loewe so this is an investment piece when i got this you don't have to get this particular designer you can get this on etsy i have seen them on etsy i've linked them before in previous youtube videos and i'm going to hear i'm talking about this belt because it's such a versatile piece i've noticed we're seeing a lot of blazers which are and coats too which are tailored like the balenciaga one that goes in i love that but why not create that kind of silhouette yourself with the right kind of belt and also it adds texture and it adds visual interest it could be a contrasting color that also adds to your full wardrobe and takes it up another notch 
don't underestimate these. These look so good over so much. I wear this in a size large. It comes in small, medium and large. I'm not sure if it comes in extra small. I got this in large because I bought it with the intention to be able to wear over blazers and over coats because it looks so good like that. And I cannot wait to start wearing this again during the fall because this, this is the kind of piece that makes your fall wardrobe look like, what the hell is that? Just wear there's certain pieces that make you want it to be cold outside, right? Tell me if I'm wrong. Certain things that you have in your wardrobe and you think, oh God, I can't wait till it's cold enough so I can wear that. That is what this is. And there are certain things that I own in my wardrobe that give me that same reaction, like these boots. There's a lot of things that I have and I'm just, can't, I'm like, I cannot wait to be able to wear that. Sticking with belts, do not forget skinny belts. They also have that same wow effect done in a much easier way than having to wear a statement belt. And it doesn't have to be that Loewe belt. A statement belt could be anything that's like wider. It has like an interesting thing to it that makes it a statement, but it can be a skinny belt. I've got loads of skinny belts. A black leather, simple skinny belt will take you through every year. And especially during the fall, use it. I'm telling you guys and girls, wear these bloody belts. They look so good over any kind of coat or jacket. It's like you're shopping in your own wardrobe. You don't have to change and buy something. Just grab your belt or grab a guy's belt or your partner's belt, whatever, I don't care. Just grab a skinny belt and put it over a jacket, over a single-breasted, even a double-breasted uh, coat. See how it looks when you cinch that waist in. It just creates such a good modern vibe and it looks so contemporary and it's such an easy way to update your fall wardrobe. One of my favorite style hacks. Do not underestimate the power of hats. That is another fall hack that I absolutely love. My favorite style hat personally are fedoras. I just love them so much. I used to wear them to death years ago. I'll show you some of them on me from my blog when I was really into wearing them really heavily. And I remember my hair was like chemically relaxed and very straight and I used to wear them to death. But then I just got tired of just, I wanted to have my hair out. So I stopped wearing them. But I have come 360 and I'm falling back in love with wearing them again. So I updated my wardrobe with two. I'll show you them here on the screen. I got them from City Hats. They are a local New York shop in Manhattan on Houston Street but you can get these online. I picked ones that had a straight brim. I love a good straight brim. I just think it looks so cool. Anyway, that, so nice. And then it's such an easy way, hats, to just instantly make your full outfit look cool. You could just be wearing jeans and a t-shirt and then you put a fedora on. Suddenly it looks like you just, you made an effort without making an effort. In fact, it doesn't look like you made an effort. You look effortless. And you can get any kind of hat. Do not forget, it's all about what suits you. I love a good fedora, right? I just think they just look really flattering on me. They flatter a lot of us as well. Again, I'll link some of my favorites for you below. You could be wearing a beret. Berets are also really cool. Again, pick the colors that are very simple, classic colors. Don't go with like bright orange and stuff if that's not really your vibe. You're probably not gonna wear it. Go with classics or always with the hats. Pick a camel or a taupe kind of color and a black. Once you've got that, either one of those colors or both, you're gonna see how much mileage you'll get from the fall into winter wearing them. It could be a bowler hat if you're really into that kind of British vibe, because I know that's a real like quirky sense of style as well. Would you add something like that? Also a baseball cap if you want. It's a much more of a streetwear, street style kind of vibe. Adding that with like a really cool blazer and your pair of pair of sneakers. It's just a street style kind of vibe for the fall, which also really works. And also these hats, they save you a bundle if your hair looks like crap. <laughs> just put a hat on, I love doing that. Other hats I wanted to mention are a bucket hat, obviously as well. Love a good bucket hat, especially for the fall. Pick one maybe that's in a kind of a winter material, maybe it's a tweed. I actually am looking to get a bucket hat for the fall winter. I just haven't got it yet. I'll probably go to City Hats because I saw them already, I clocked them. When I got my fedoras, which are actually above, you can't see them, but they're sitting in the box above me. I saw all their bucket hats and I thought, I'm coming back for you and I will be. So stay tuned, they will appear on my head at some point this month, I'm sure, or probably on my Instagram first but I love a good bucket hat. They look really, really good. But anyway, the power of a good hat, never 
ever underestimate it. Oh gosh, yes. Good sunglasses. A good pair of sunglasses. Again, this one is a year rounder. I'm applying it for this fall hacks video because I think a good sunglass is a really, really nice way to finish off your look. Majority of time during the fall, all you're gonna see are your outerwear. You're gonna see a good strong jacket you're wearing and then something underneath and then your boots and your bag and that's it. But when you add the glasses, it puts the cherry on the top. A good sunglass just does that. I love, I've got so many. I tend to skew towards uh, statement ones because that's just my vibe, it's what I love. I love my Loewe ones, which you already know. I'm gonna put one on here just so you can see, but you guys already know how much I love these. Um, I love a good cat eye as well. These are my red Loewe Ibiza glasses. Again, this is not for everyone, but it's for me. I love them and I know how much I'm gonna be wearing these and the white pair that I have during the fall winter time but also cat eyes as well look so flipping badass I've got my Celine's my trusted Celine's you know how much I love these I show this in so many videos I've gotten so many wears out of these bloody glasses but in the fall because it's kind of given isn't it to wear sunglasses during the summer but once you move into fall and you're wearing them but you're wearing them now with intention because it's, it finishes off a vibe it finishes off a look and it makes it just really kind of badass that to me is a fantastic fall hack because it's a nice way to introduce personality to your pieces and it doesn't have to be at a really expensive price point it can be quite low as well because you can get sunglasses at all different price points because i have these ones from love day and i love these appropriate name so cool I think these probably retail around I think so like 20 or 30 dollars but they're epic they're so good and these are from Love Day so it doesn't matter about the budget it's about the eye and thinking and figuring out what figuring and figuring out what suits you do not underestimate during the fall going with a strong punch color I like to do it with an accessory like my sunglasses but I think during the fall time when the skies are getting darker and there's less sun, it's cloudier. I think that's the perfect time to wear bright color because it pops so much. That's why, like those glasses, those are gonna just go bang when you're walking down the street. When I'm walking down the street in the fall, everyone's in dark and you've got like bam, these like cat eye glasses on that are like white or you've got like this incredible bag that's really like a punch, you know what I mean? And then you're just walking down, you're just wearing all black and you're just going down the road, it's really cold, and you just got this, this, this little punch back. Don't underestimate bright colors during the fall. I know it's all about the dark things, but add that one punch, I'm telling you, with uh, uh, anything that's an accessory, whether it's glasses, a bag, those are the two of the main ones I would do. You could even do it with a belt if you wanted to pick a really bright belt and just have it like a camel colored coat. If you own a camel colored coat, get a neon colored skinny leather belt I would recommend like a neon orange that would look really cool against the camel it could be something as slight as that but it's adding that bright punch during a typically off season when you wouldn't that's what makes it cool and that to me is a fantastic fashion hack also outside of accessories you could add in terms of a bright color it could be your lipstick don't forget your makeup I've always loved the idea of just wearing a bright lipstick during the depths of fall so you're wearing really like just dark colors head to toe generally speaking and then you just finish it off with a bright lipstick so you don't even have to think of an accessory that's bright it could be the makeup itself but a gorgeous matte vibrant like tangerine or even like a red wine or a lipstick red with camel with black, it's just it's just thinking out of the box a little bit with how you're playing with what you've already got. Balance, this is another one. Now it's a little bit different from silhouettes where I said like wear something skinny if you're wearing something like voluminous here and the vice versa. When I talk about balance, I'm talking more about if you don't want to have that cone effect, I call it, where you're like bigger up here and you just sort of visually look smaller. Think about doing this, this and this instead. So you've got something that's bigger up here, then you've got your waistline, and then you do something that's bigger down here. I'm talking about your footwear. So I love to wear chunkier footwear because it's just my vibe. But another reason I do it is because I like to generally wear oversized upper pieces. And because of that, 
I notice that I'm doing that thing. So I've got bigger up here. I'm using my arms to try and hopefully communicate what I'm saying. Bigger pieces up here, bigger pieces down here on the foot, and it kind of visually balances you out head to toe. My last one is probably my favorite, and it's the one that you will probably know. And you're probably thinking, Karen, say it. What am I gonna say? Class is in session for the last one. Tell me what I'm gonna say. What is the last fall fashion hack that Karen would say? I'm waiting. Whilst I make a wardrobe adjustment, I'll just see if you can write it down. And see if you guessed right. Did you guess right? I'm gonna trust that you didn't cheat. Did you guess right and figure out what Karen's last hack would be? Shop the men's department. I talk about it all the time, year round, but especially during the fall, this is really the time to do it. I cannot stress enough. Some of my best fall and winter pieces are from the men's department. These jeans are men's. The camel coat I got is men's. There's a gray coat I got that's really sick. If I can find a picture of it up on the screen, that's men's. Go to the men's department and look at their jackets, look at their blazers, look at their coats, look how timeless they make them, right? They don't put funny, fussy bells and whistles on them like they do for us. They make them classic cuts, usually boxy, classic shapes. Put that on you. Put that on you with your curves and your boobs and your hips and your waist and you put on something that belongs to the guys. Tell me later what that looks like. Tell, I dare you to defy me and say it didn't look good. And if it didn't look good, it's because you picked the wrong one. <laughs> but it looks effortless every single time. It just works. The thickness of the material that they use is, is bigger. Come on, if you lot have already done this already, you can like agree and say, or thumbs up and go, yes, Karen, I agree. The material is thicker. They go with more classic prints that stand the test of time, colors that stand the test of time. Often their buttons and just certain details are oversized. The peak lapels are bigger. They do peak lapels. They have inside pockets on their jackets and their coats. They hit longer. I love a really gone long, long gone, a long coat. That's why I love the gray one that I have and I have a I think I have a couple, but my favorites are the really long ones, especially the gray one that I have from the men's department. I'm five foot seven. But when you go to the men's section, you don't have to worry about, is it gonna be long enough? It will be, because it's for the men's department. Unlike the women's, where they do it this poxy length that I don't understand. It's like, it's like right, it's like there. They cut you off right there. It's like, what the heck is that? What am I gonna do with that? How am I gonna like have like my tall leather boots as I'm walking down the street and look absolutely chic? When you look at all these runway shows, look at the length of the things that they're wearing. They look so fucking badass, don't they? I'm sorry, but I just feel very passionate about this. They don't do this at the lower price point for women, but where you can get it at the lower price point is in the men's department. That is it. That is my video on full style fashion hacks. Give this video a thumbs up if you did get some ideas, some inspiration on how to style your fall wardrobe, applying these hacks. These are the hacks that I apply and I love to do that. I do that every single fall without fail. You're going to see me doing them all throughout my Instagram. You'll be able to find any outfit I wear, you will see one of these hacks applied because I'm giving them to you. I'm telling you what I already do and I think that these things just flipping work and there's a reason why they work. They just they just work. But anyway, that is it and do not forget to click my link for Skillshare. That is my lot i can't think of anything else subscribe to my channel if you have not already if you agree with these kind of things then you and me we're, we're kind of the same kind of tribe between now and tuesday my next video i will see you on instagram it's the same name i'll leave it right here that's it my job is done i'm out peace enjoy your fall tag me on instagram if you are applying any of these fall hacks so i can restore you because i love doing that kind of stuff. Anyway, I'm out. Bye.